As a Golden resident, you know how great it is to live in Coral Gables, but the secret's out. According to the National News Report, the city beautiful is one of the best places in the country to retire to. And now, living independently is easier thanks to a new program, the first of its kind in Florida, called Coral Gables at Home. The goal of Coral Gables at Home is to improve the quality of life for seniors who live alone. Executive Director Marley Lutz explains. It is to provide the security uh, to, to allow you to feel that you can manage your home. You have one resource that you can call for anything that you need, and you're going to get reliable help, usually at a discount. The Coral Gables Community Foundation took cues from a similar program offered in Beacon Hill Village, Massachusetts. Coral Gables Community Foundation Chairperson Jeanette Slesnick talks about how unique this program is to our area. This is the first initiative in the state of Florida that's similar to the Beacon Hill Village in Boston, and we're sort of cloning the best ideas from them and incorporating our own. The fee-based program began providing services this year in Coral Gables. Residents of Coral Gables age 50 years and older can get personalized grocery shopping, transportation to and from doctor's appointments, assistance with storm preparation, and a wide variety of other services designed to give you peace of mind and the help you may need. You can request to have a telephone call check-in every day. We will be checking with all of our members periodically, but if you'd like, we can check in with you every day. Coral Gables at Home is meant to reinforce one solid fact. Staying home longer means living a better life. The one thing it has been proven over and over again, that if seniors can stay in their homes longer and in their environment that they've been accustomed to, then they live longer, they appreciate life and they enjoy their surroundings and people that live in Coral Gables don't want to move out of Coral Gables. If you would like to learn more, please call the Coral Gables Community Foundation at 305-443-4011. Golden Facts Hearing loss is a common implication of aging. Here's a list of symptoms that may imply you have a hearing problem. Difficulty hearing people on the phone. Difficulty hearing when there is background noise. Problems when following a conversation. Straining to hear a conversation. Feeling like people are mumbling when they talk. Not understanding what people are saying. And finally, frequently hearing ringing, roaring, or hissing sounds. If you have at least three of these symptoms, you may want to check with your doctor about getting a hearing aid. Dr. Marilyn Bruno is a fountain of knowledge. Her talents, skills, and accomplishments are all feathers in her rather large cap. But although she has much to be proud of, she's not selfish. She has committed her life to sharing the fruits of her labor through her work with others. More recently, she's hosting workshops at the Coral Gables Adult Activity Center. Her wealth of professional experience serves to educate our city's seniors about the many topics affecting seniors. Aside from these lectures, she also has other projects meant to educate our golden population. I started a website and I'm doing monthly newsletters because I feel that with my background as a stock broker, as a lawyer, I know estate planning, I know investment planning, I know retirement planning. Dr. Bruno has a lengthy resume with careers concerning economic policy issues with the State Department's Foreign Service, banking executive, academic administrator abroad, and as a legal counsel for AARP. She has recently retired and moved to Coral Gables, a move she feels was a great choice personally and for her aging family. The advantage of the Gables is that it's, a, it's already a, a defined community. And so people who live here tend to be, uh, of, they tend to share some values. They like the stable community life, they have a lot of pride in their homes, they've invested heavily in their home life and their community life. She now volunteers at the Florida Alliance for Aging program called SHINE, serving health insurance needs for the elderly. She emphasizes the importance of seniors to educate themselves. I know enough where to go for help and a lot of seniors don't. They're paralyzed and frightened and that is going to affect their health because the more stress you have, the weaker your immune system is going to get and the sicker you're going to get. Dr. Bruno is truly dedicated to sharing her wisdom with seniors in our community and beyond. To her, the mission is clear. In the end, what you want to do is share your 
uh, vision of the future with other people your age. Congratulations to Dr. Marilyn Bruno for being this month's Golden Pride. The Senior Service Division is proud to have Marilyn volunteering every third Friday of the month at the Adult Activity Center. Bring your concerns or issues to the workshop or just sit and get information you can use. The Adult Activity Center is located at 624 Anastasia Avenue. Annually, Coral Gables seniors will gather for the biggest and grandest luncheon of the year. This, of course, is the annual senior luncheon. This year, it was held at the beautiful Biltmore Hotel. The featured guest speaker was the secretary of the Florida Department of Elders Affairs, Dr. E. Douglas Beach. He was appointed by Governor Charlie Crist about one year ago, and his job is to reach out to elders, their caregivers, and their advocates. Dr. Beach has a column featured regularly on the front page of the department's newsletter, Elder Update. Here are some of the facts that Dr. Beach shared with his audience that afternoon. How many of you know that the retirement industry is the number two industry in the state of Florida? How many of you know that uh, seniors give about $3 billion more in taxes every year than they cost? How many of you know that seniors give $1 billion every year in school taxes? How many of you know that 50% of all new home construction in Florida are for people that are 60 plus? And how many of you know that in, this is a little bit dated, but in the 1994 gubernatorial election, seniors 60 plus were 31% of registered voters and 43% of the people who voted. Nearly 250 people attended the informative luncheon, making new friends with fellow seniors in the community and taking home valuable information on services and programs available through the city. Golden Facts, 86.7 million. Do you know why that number is significant? Well, that's the amount of seniors projected to live in the United States by the year 2050. That's a 147% increase from the year 2000. This includes people aged 65 and over, which are expected to make up 21% of the population. It's one of the most dreaded times of the year, tax time, and the AARP is coming to town to give you the help that you need. Every Thursday at the Coral Gables Library, trained tax aid volunteers will be there to answer all your questions and help you file your taxes with ease. In fact, trained volunteers are filing taxes using the e-file system, which according to District Coordinator Evelyn Dow has some hefty advantages. Uh, return sent by post office will get back to the taxpayer around eight weeks. An e-file tax return will get back in less than two. Here's what you were expected to bring with you, a copy of previous year's tax return. If necessary, contact the IRS for a copy of last year's return, your W-2 form from each employer, all 1099 forms showing interest and or dividends as well as documentation showing the original purchase price of your sold assets. If you're paid Social Security benefits, bring your SSA 1099. If you received a pension or annuity, bring your 1099-R all forms indicating federal income tax paid. If applicable, unemployment compensation statements, child care provider information. If itemizing deductions, bring all receipts or canceled checks for items such as medical expenses, taxes paid, mortgage interest paid, and charitable contributions. And finally, social security numbers for all dependents. Remember, Tax aid is available every Thursday from 12.20 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. until April 15th at the Coral Gables Library, located at 3443 Segovia Street.